Hey everybody, how you all doing? And of course, I'm back here um, to, as a little bit of a make do for uh, No Action Sunday, since uh, no, my whole recording um, production schedule's kind of been thrown. But of course, say I'm kind of being joined by, by of course, the princess. Say hi to Maeve, everybody. It's my daughter. She's all, she's all shy. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm comfortable, but hey, she's kind of, she's just calm. She's just calm with me. All right. So I'm gonna try try to get through this. Uh, I'm gonna try to get through this uh, review. All right. So let's talk about uh, Good Burger Two. So um, when I heard that this movie was uh, getting announced and was dropping on Paramount, I was like, um, why? Why? It's one of those uh, uh, movies that what, and that we don't need. What an unexpected so, um, sequel. So. Uh, how does it turn out? Well, I'll tell you one thing. Of course, I hate to say it's in front of the, the kid. Screw this movie and everyone involved. I'm. This is this this is just one of those movies that just didn't really need to be really didn't need to be made. Like uh, this was definitely a movie for the fans, and like what you got was just um like just in joke and callback and everything that you can think of in this movie. It's like. Okay, we all we get it. we love the first uh, Good Burger movie. I mean, based on the classic segment from uh from all that, which was like their their quote of SNL. But of course, uh, not to think about it, um, SNL SNL was a, a, all that ripped off SNL, and kind of think about it like SNL wasn't wasn't really that good. And to begin with, the jet, that's just my, my opinion to begin with. But um, so. So how so how does it translate to to uh not nowadays now things have completely changed like again like there's no dish now you're involved Nicole's not involved involved it's in, everything's now owned by Paramount like there, you could clearly tell this is more like this is like a different tone it's a tone of of movie uh, compared to the first one now um when it comes to like star power yes I will say it was I was happy to see some. Very familiar faces returned, like Josh Server and Lori Beth Denberg, and of course even Dan, 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 Danny Tamborelli and everyone. I'm like, oh my god, I remembered him, him from my day. And of course, th everything has just completely changed. But man, like everything, but everything else was just again. This is just one of those movies made for the fans. It was just fan service all around, and of course another thing is like. Oh, I just and what again more, more thing another problem that I find with this movie is like I think it focused way too much on of course our two, our main main character Ed and of course as, as much as I hate to say this but that was the whole purpose of these Good Burger segments back on all that like and, and like he was this big stupid stoner idiot um, Ed or well I call him a stoner idiot because he ha clearly has no idea what the hell hell is going on but of course. Um, I was, of course, some people say he is like 100% autistic. I'm like, well, I could see where they're going with this. But to me, I feel like he's just the big stone idiot that just loves his job. Like has no, no sense of, okay, of, of the world around him. It's like, okay, okay. I want, and think he takes things super literal kind of thing. I'm like, dear God, like you can definitely tell like this character is like, you love him, but you also hate him. And, and this and this movie just magnifies it by ten and by ten. I'm like, good lord! I wanted to bang my head against the wall every time I said said something something so out of left field. And then makes me just go, what? Like again, like how? Why? Like nothing makes any sense. Of course, that's what's supposed to be. That's what what the whole Good Burger movies were supposed to be about. Like nothing was supposed to make sense, but uh, at least there was some good coherent plot. And like. Here again, they had to go back and just rehash something that we've already know know about from the first movie. It's like, okay, okay, I'm like, why again? Again, like things have changed. Now we're gonna focus on oh, machines are the wave of the future kind of thing instead of instead of okay, instead of competition. Now it's like, all right, I'm trying to franchise things and kind of thing. It's just it's just insane. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Outside of that, like man, this again, this. This was this that did not need to be made. This has got to be the lowest of lows when it comes to the Paramount and Plus movies. I'm not going to lie. Like, compared to every other Paramount Plus project like that, I thought, that I thought was good, good to great. Let's see. This has got to be the bomb of the barrel. I'm I'm sorry, folks. That I'm going to be bluntly honest with you. Everything else is just ter terrible. Um, and with that, I, I want to give this movie 
like a zero a zero out of ten. But there is one redeeming factor in the fact that is again it's 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 the nostalgia appeal is there there. Um, but um, I will get again like uh, I feel like maybe over time it'll grow me. But this is this project I would say avoid. And with that, I'm giving Good Burger two. Um, I'm giving it a a four out of ten. Like that's I I want to rate it rate it oh, much lower, but I feel like this is like fair in a sense so yeah give or take um if you want to give this movie a watch if you have i, I want to hear your thoughts on it. on it do you think this is like way too much fan service or just just a, a movie that they just just threw in the gear gear at the last man just say hey hey here's a here's a sequel for for the ages like for the for all the kids that grew up in the 90s so yeah let me hear your thoughts okay so that does it for this week. Hopefully, I'll resume to better programming uh, with a couple, a couple of uh, stuff. And also, I do plan on reviewing the uh, Doctor Who specials. Okay. So that does it for this week. Don't forget to subscribe my channel, Steve, for some more awesome, exciting videos, and, and of course, uh, Maeve as well. <laughs>